Hi guys, welcome. It's uh, Matty Lewis here, otherwise known as Stein Kelson. Uh, today I'm going to be dipping into my very first ever um, YouTube content. I've taken a little bit of inspiration from uh, Matt Ringham, gentleman that you can find him on YouTube as Ringo8781. Um, he's given me that inspiration to jump onto a bit of uh, the video content and just, yeah, let's just see where the journey goes. As you can see, I've got a real nice page. It's completely blank and empty. So after the day, we're going to bang up our first ever uh, video. And I thought, what better place to start than to, to dip into the, the world of the, the, you know, the metrics and the data visualization, something that if you've been following my slave with OG Sinise, you'll, you'll see that it, it, I've heavily, heavily, lean towards that side of, of my saves on FM. I've got a custom view, the metrics view, which can be used um, for when analyzing players within your own squad. Um, I'll, I'll link that to, to the YouTube in the comments. But as you can see, this basically goes over, you know, the, the usual per 90 metrics. Um, and the most important two for creating a squad profile visualization is minutes and age. Like with any time you're taking a snapshot, it's best to scroll down to the bottom, take a screen chunk, dump with control P, click save, go in here. Like any good content, blue P, here's one I made earlier. I've saved this one as RB, which would mean that we've then drawn down all of that information so that we can then dip into our um software which is you know spreadsheet software i'm using google sheets uh, you can use anything you want to go file import and you just upload in that raw data that, that we've taken so we're going to um, documents on this pc it's called rb so we're just putting that across place the current sheet and there you have it there's our data so it's just pulled across everything that was in that screen view uh, on the FM. For some of you, I did kind of touch this lightly when I covered uh, a tweet about, about one of my views earlier on, is that you can change stuff that isn't captured as a P90 value, as a P90 value. So just for example here, key headers. So I've just inserted a column. Change P headers per 90. And the way to convert a metric into per 90 metric is if you take your figure that you want to convert and divide it by the minutes played, times it by 90, will give you a per 90 metric. And as you can see now, it's just auto filled that for all of those. You can see that the best player is with 3.1 key headers per 90. Turns out to be Willie Auburn. So you can then use that data to then look on your save, look at the attributes attributes of the players, um, and then start to really kind of drill down. You know, is does this does does Willie have a, a high anticipation value? Is, is his positioning good? What what makes him be able to? What differentiates him? What makes him stand out from any others that are going to contribute him to to obtaining those key headers? Uh, you can see how deep the rabbit hole can get, uh, but today let's just try and stick to Tableau. Um, and actually, once you've opened it, I'm using Google Sheets, as I said, so I'm just connecting the software to my Google Sheets, which it's now done. And I select the data source that I want, which we know is that walkthrough page. So it pulls through and it's got my data source here. The first thing that is really important that, that we do is just making sure that all of our measures are saved as the correct thing. So you can see that we've got some numerical things that are down as text. So we just change them straight away to to bang bang them to what we need them to be. So we've got, you know, let's just take average rating should be as a decimal. We've got goals, which should be as a whole number. We've got XG, which should be a decimal. So on and so forth, you would continue that across the whole um, data range that you needed, which then leads to them falling underneath the correct thing. So either measures or uh, within the table side of things. So if you wanted to change one of those, so for example, if we forgot that we didn't do our key headers, what you can do is you right click on the key headers and you convert that to a measure. It then drops down to here. You then right click the ABC and change that to a number as a decimal. And then if you drag it over, one thing that I would say be very wary of is that you don't want it to show what if you were going to be doing some analytics on this. You want to make sure that you right click it and you change it to a sum value. Uh, all of the 
numerical data should be down to sums, but we're, going, we're not covering that today. We're here to learn how to do a squad profile visualization. And the two key things that you need for that are minutes and age. We'll open up the view to make it nice and big. And then we just get our players, which we're looking for names, and we'll bang them in under the marks. That then has populated our um, our data viz. We change it to label to get our labels in. And if you were, if you weren't a perfectionist, you, you, you know you could leave it at that. But it just seems silly to leave this much space. So we we'll just right click, edit axis. We know that none of the players are above eighteen, so we we'll change that date to eighteen. And it just pulls it all together nicely. Um, if you've got any of these. Met, uh, plots that aren't showing a name it's because we i think the, the way in which tableau works is it automatically sets up is having um not having overlapping so literally if you just click on the dots you can just move the names to get them out to show um you know, the player's name is next to it it's all about tidying up your work making it look presentable you don't want the title so we'll hide the title um, at this stage now, you want to carry out so just your basic analytics. So you get an average line and you just drop it in the graph. And what you have here is it, it split the graph into four separate segments. Now, at this stage here, you've got your basic squad profile visualization. There's no need to try to dress it up anymore. If you were just look, using it for your own purposes, this, this is perfect. Now, just showing how I would use it. So talking to you briefly over these four segments bottom left segment of the quadrant so this is your younger players so they've played less than the average amount of minutes um which is just shy of 1500 as i said that they're, they're, they're falling underneath the average age which is just over 24. so i use this tool very much to kind of future plan in terms of what i'm going to do with my squad so for the younger players it's really important that at the age you know sub 21 definitely really important sub 23 also it's massively important that they're gaining first regular first team football and if they're not going to be doing getting that regular first team football it's massively going to hamper their development and, and probably impact their their ability for the you know their, their current ability ever to reach that potential ability so for example justin Kleiber. He's just on the peripherals. Could you give him more game time? Could you get him over that average? For other players, that you know, Tyler Adams, for example, uh, Hydara, not securing enough game time, really need to be looked at if you're going to loan them out, go to an affiliate club, get them a loan deal, whatever, just to get that exposure to that game time, or do you just sack them off, get rid of them? Um, the top left-hand quadrant are players that, you know, are still younger than your average age, that they are drawing down significant amount of game time. So, you know, they're key in terms of your squad. They're getting a lot of minutes. They're frequently in the starting 11. So <laughs> common sense, what you want to do, you want to secure the futures of those players. Those are the sort of players that you want to be taking forward in your save to reach you know the ages of 24 to 29 when a player is really in their peak years um, and the more of these that you can secure the, to pass into this period of your save the, the the higher possibility that you're going to be able to you know hit those targets that you you have set out um the bottom right hand side is uh, older players that are drawing down less than average minutes now just one word of warning from me is that you wouldn't automatically just put these up for transfer list. Quite often you'll find that one of these players, if you look at the squad dynamics and the leadership side of things, is that they are your leaders, that they, they've got something that they can offer, whether it be through mentoring um, or just, you know, if you did end up moving them on, you're going to upset everybody within that social group or whatever. You, you, know, you, you need to just pay a little bit of attention to these players. And then, of course, the players that are above the average age that are playing a lot of minutes so you'd expect these players to be in their prime you can see a lot of them are between 24 and 29 um, and as they progress through their career and go towards the end of their career what you probably want to do with these ones is look to explore if they would like to take up any coaching badges and try and get them in your in, in your team is it you know is a non-playing staff um 
in a nutshell, that realistically is the score profile visualization. But I'm sure so many of you are here because you want to make it nice and shiny and be able to show off and you know be able to publicize your content over your either blogs or just via social media. So I'm just going to show you a few ways of doing that. Now, one thing that you can do that you might not know, you could change your uh, visuals to a shape. If you go on a shape, you can actually choose a custom shape. Uh, just going to choose the Leipzig logo there. There you are. Sorry. There you go. Shape. Custom shape. Apply. And what you'll see here, let's make it a little bit bigger, is that I've just given every dot a Leipzig logo. Now, the way that you do that is if you just open up your documents, there's a table my table of repository and in that is shapes you just set save any png uh, that you'd like to use in here and then it will appear in the shape side of things don't want to do that today though what we want to do is just do you know box standard um uh, squad profile that looks good so i've just made the dots a bit bigger i'm going to change the shape to have the, the color filled in um also probably not happy with the color of that. So I'm just going to change the color to be one of the red ball colors, just so it pops out nicely and we're color coordinated with our branding. Um, the next stage is to format it. So first and foremost, you, you might not want to have all, you know, a lot of axis points. So I've just gone on here. If you go to your tick marks, change it to fixed, probably going to go with 500 and then also 250 for a midpoint for the minor tick marks. What you can see it's done, it's just made the axes less congested. Um, if we right click again and we go to format, well, this is going to show you how you can start to change the visuals on, on the data viz. So I'm just going to change the size of the font up to a, an 11, make the font a bit bigger. We're going to make the font white so it shows up when we go on this paint box here. And give it a black background so it, everything's starting to pop now it's starting to look look good now i know what you're probably thinking is jesus christ that that data viz is absolutely buzzing far too many lines on there so what you can do is you go on the lines you go to grid lines and you just get rid of them there you go um we've got our averages lines that are on here that you can't really see so same with them if you right click it and not edit it if you right click it and format it you can change the line so we're going to go over yellow. We're going to change the opacity up. We're going to go the same here. We're going to format it. We're going to get our line, which is yellow. Change the opacity, which is up. So what you then got is a bit of a nice color coordinated, kind of along the red ball theme, uh, data profile, uh, score profile visualization. Now, the next trick is we're good, once we've got our squad profile looking how we, we want to want it to look we drop into a dashboard and if you just change the size of the dashboard it's automatic again it just stretches out you want to make sure that you've got that selected as floating and you get your sheet and you drag and drop your sheet in open it up get rid of the title because i'm not interested in having a title and we want to add an image to it get your image choose an image for something on your desktop got rb1 there Resize that a little and stick it in the corner there. And as you can see, what I have now got is my squad profile visualization, which is really handy. It's something that, you know, I'm happy to share at this stage. I'll be happy to publish it in terms of a blog. It looks good. You can see I've got a couple of dots that are still missing. So we just move them around. Yusuf Polson, Sabitza, they're all there. Everyone's got a name next to it. Martinez isn't. So we just move it across. As you can see, this is this is all you do. You just get it to how you want it. Obviously, your standards might not be the same as mine, vice versa. Um, yeah, you know, this is this is your work. But the beauty of it is that you know, Tableau is something that, like I said, it's very customized. You can just do do as you please with it, and you don't even have to use it on FM. You can. This is something that you can easily, you know, has a clear transition into. Your, your, your you know daily working life so yeah as always i hope you've enjoyed my, my debut visit video um hopefully the content can improve as time goes on 
And yeah, just thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions as always at May Lewis 11 on Twitter, just hit me up on there. I uh, really appreciate your time. Cheers guys. Thank you.